Summer Oil Hydraulic Upglide Double Station Replacement Machine. This is 40 cm by 60 cm size. This is the temperature and time controller, 3 in 1 intelligent controller. And the left here is the temperature controller. First, we have to press this SD button once. Then we into the temperature setting mode. This mode, you can say it let on, let on. Now we can press this up arrow to increase the temperature. <coughs> and we could also press this down arrow to decrease temperature. Normally we set it 220 degree for some mission transfer. When the setting finish, we have to press this HD button twice to finish setting. <coughs> this is the time setting. First we have to press this SD button once, then we into the setting mode, the second mode. Uh, now we have to press this up arrow to increase the time. And then we could also press this down idle to decrease the time. Normally we set it to 30 seconds for submission transfer. And then we press it um, SD button twice to finish, uh, finish the setting. Now the temperature and time just uh, finish setting. This is the control panel. This is the manual automatic switch. If the, this button turns to the left hand, the machine becomes the manual mode. We have to press this green button to press, to press down the heat press machine. If we turn to the middle, the machine will not work. If we turn to the right hand, the machine will automatically print it. This is the emergency stop. If we want to press the, uh, stop the machine, we have to press this down. <coughs> then the machine will stop work. If we want to rework the machine, we have to clockwise press this, it will bounce back. The machine will rework. Okay, this is the submission <laughs> aluminum plate, bottom working plate. Linking tight, and this is the fabric. First, we have to display this fabric on the on the <coughs> on the bottom working plate, and then this is the submission transfer paper. The paper should be face down to the fabric. Every part should be very smooth. Once we display it, we push this heating plate to the right position, and then we press this button. The machine will press down and the timer will count down from 30 seconds to zero. Once it's finished, the machine will automatically lift up when the printing finish and then we can take away the EMI product. Okay, you can see the, the heating plate will be lifted lift up automatically. Okay, then we discover this battery. The submission transfer already transferred to the fabric. Every part is so beautiful and bright. You can see the printing effect is so beautiful. Okay, let's now let's test the automatic printing. First, we have to, you can say here, first we display this as well. Bottom aluminum plate uh, submission, slinking pipe. This is the fabric already already displayed smoothly on the bottom working plate. And this is the fab submission transfer paper. The paper should be face down to the fabric. Then we display it well. We can see. Now you can see we can we have to turn to the manual automatic switch button to the right hand. Then the machine become automatic. We push it to the right position, the heating plate will press down automatically. And then the timer will uh, count down from 30 seconds to, to zero once it's finished. And the printing will be done, and then you can take away the zero product. You can see the heating plate will lift up automatically and then the printing finish. Okay, just cover this fabric. Every color just into the fabric. Okay, and then uh, let's, uh, let, let me show you this from here. From here. Uh, this is the, the oil system. The oil should be uh, should be beyond this red line. Uh, normally, we, we put oil about 40 degree for the uh, for the, uh, the fully 
fully strengths of the hydraulic printing method. It, and then this is the this is the, you can see all your all your uh, you can see panel normally we put it uh, so this way. Okay. 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 Thank you.